Welcome to Feldenkrais with Taro Iwamoto. I am Taro. Today I will be guiding you through a short shoulder mobility routine. And all you need for this practice is obviously your body and uh, dowel and your attention. That's it. So why don't we get started? And if you prefer to do this one in sitting, you can do in a chair as well. So, but I'm gonna do with a dowel. Actually, this is my uh, Aikido Bokken, but you can use a uh, dowel. Uh, broomstick is fine too. So starting here, standing or sitting in comfortable positions, and then hold the dowel, hands about the shoulder width apart, and standing or sitting neutrally, and starting to bring your dowel up overhead. So the goal is really not uh, go up, raise your arms as high as you can. But the goal is trying to connect with your chest. So as you bring your arms up, so think about lifting your sternum up. If you're keeping your sternum down and you're trying to raise your shoulders, it's going to create quite a bit of strain on your shoulders. So make sure that you are lifting your sternum as you bring your arms up. Stay within your comfort. All right, so let's do this one a few times. Watching your breathing, making sure that you're not holding your breath. And then now go ahead and start to move your head, move your eyes and follow the dowel. As the dowel moves upward in your head, your eyes and also look upwards. By following with your eyes and head, it actually facilitates the upper thoracic and the upper back movements, which helps with the shoulders. Okay, now we're gonna try something else. Hold it down overhead, if you are able to, okay? It might mean maybe slightly lower for you, but whatever works and is good for your body. And start here and, and begin to go side bending, okay, right. Let's stay with the one directions first, here. So as you're moving the dowel to the sideways, and then now you begin to move your torso as well. So think about moving your spine and moving your ribs and moving your head all together. So it's not just about isolating the movement of the shoulders, but it's actually about integrating more parts to improve the mobility of your shoulders. And I find it helpful, you can try also, to breathe out as I'm side bending. And my shoulder's getting a little tired, so I'm just gonna take a little break. But you pace yourself, okay? This is to follow along, but uh, of course, and uh, you may uh, you may get tired a little bit before I do, or you may be fine, so you want to continue, you can continue as well. So do at your own pace, please. I'm gonna to return to the same positions and going to the other side. Slowly begin to side bend. And side bending my ribs, side bending my spine as well. And my head. All coordination. <sighs> Breathing out. Back to the center. Good. 
Then I'm going to stop, lower the down, arms down. And just a few times and alternating side to side, side bending. Coordination and don't ever force to move it, okay? And that's when you're going to hurt your shoulders or neck or anywhere else. So move gently. And then go the other side. On the return, breathe in. And then as you begin to side bend and breathe out. And I'm going to stop. <clears throat> Well, nice thing about the video and uh, here is if you get tired, if you find that I'm going too fast, you, uh, you can pause the video and then, then you can start when you're ready to return. Or if you find that the pace is a little too slow for you, which, you know, slower the better, but if you prefer to be a little bit faster, then you can adjust the speed of the uh, video uh, as well. <clears throat> So now let's return, hold the dowel, overhead, and this time, you're going to rotate the dowel, okay, turning one way and turning the other way. Here, so you can, turning and turning, okay. So as you do this rotation and keeping your arms relatively straight or keeping the elbows relatively straight and turning. And then think about turning your chest and think about turning your head as well. And think about turning your pelvis a little bit too. So everything is rotating. You probably find a little bit of difference going in one direction compared to the other directions. It's not just the shoulders rotating, it is also the spine rotating, your ribs. So it's kind of mobilizing and integrating your torso, right? Your ribs and spine with your shoulders, which is a really, really nice thing. I'm gonna take a quick pause. It's a simple movement, yet uh, when you move it slowly with your tension, and this is actually uh, not as easy as it might seem. That's why I had to stop. You know, you kind of, if you force through the movements, then you may do more, but not realizing that you are straining yourself. But there's a difference between working and uh, you know, using and moving through the range and improving versus you're just pushing through the range and then um, straining yourself. And later, you will notice that that's something is a little sore. Uh, so you don't want to do that. Please always pay attention. That's why one of the things that I require you to do, uh, require for the movement practice is always your attention. That's what makes a difference. Let's return a few more times. Same thing, rotate the whole body. But starting with your arms, rotating the dowel, one direction and then the other directions. And let everything else kind of follow your arms and the dowel, including your head. And let's bring the arms down. <clears throat> okay. So the next one, I'm going to hold my stick vertically. 
And this one, depending on how long the ball your dowel is, just you want to adjust it because you don't want too much weight here and then that's going to be too challenging. So you kind of have to adjust or you may, you may find something that's a little bit lighter. Now mine's got some nice weight so, uh, so I have to kind of play with where I want to hold it here so it won't be too much. So hold it here, elbow down and the stick uh, holding the stick vertically and then from here we'll begin to turn, okay, begin to tilt the dowel, the stick sideways up to the side and then not just moving from the wrist but moving your elbow, moving your shoulders and moving the body sideways. So kind of moving in and then out. So you're tilting as you tilt the dowel one direction. You see how my elbow is coming up, my shoulder is coming up, and then also I'm letting my body, the whole body to turn the sideways, moving like a pendulum. And so the difference, if you didn't allow your sh shoulder and torso to, to move with this uh, dowel, and then well, you sure can mobilize the shoulder, isolating the shoulder, if that was your purpose, you can do that. But I like to integrate the whole body. So I'm, as I'm moving my shoulder, then I'm also integrating my chest as well and the rest of the spine. It's kind of falling with my whole body in and out. And I'm starting to get a little bit fatigue in my shoulder, so I'm gonna stop. Then I'm gonna switch size. Okay, the same thing. Here, tilt. In and out. So either sitting in a chair or standing, whichever you feel like doing. And control the movement and don't make it an extreme movement in the stretch, but rather trying to coordinate the whole body so that you are distributing that movement and an effort so that you will not be straining your shoulder. But at the same time, you are mobilizing, improving the mobility of the shoulder. That's what you want to do, right? Okay, and um, the last one is it's a challenging one and then a fun one, so, but it's a bonus. And uh, if you want to challenge your balance and have a little bit of fun, but uh, probably not for everyone, so you can just watch uh, what I'm going to do. So I hold a, uh, my stick on the floor and then I'm going to just kind of move my body around so you can watch. Here, I can turn my hand by keeping the dowel on the floor that will move. Okay, and I walk around. Depending on where I go, and then my shoulder is going to be moving in a different angle and positions. And of course, I don't want to strain and hurt my shoulders. So when I feel, okay, I can't move any further, then I can change the directions. Here. I can do something like that. Okay, 
So just wanted to show you a fun one and uh, it, it could be, a, I could do another video just to show you this exercise. But this is something that uh, you don't have to do, but um, I just find it, you know, why not share that? And uh, some of you will find it very, very interested in doing that. So I'll give it a try and have fun, but don't hurt yourself, okay? I hope you enjoy this fun. Check out these videos. And if you like this video and hit that like button and be sure to subscribe and share with your friends, comment below how helpful you found this video was. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next video. Happy mindful movement. Bye-bye.